Serve the plates. Okay, ma'am. So where are the glasses? I'll bring it, ma'am. You have to be fast. I hope they are neat. Yes, ma'am. Let me help. Let me just help you. Just drop the other one. Give me the keys. Get the glasses at once. Go, 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 please. The glasses, the glasses. Go get them. Give me, give me, give me. I'll get it all. Hello. Hello, mommy. Beautiful daughter of mine. Oh. Oh. My lovely in law. Oh. Oh. Please. Thank Come you, Mama. Thank you. My in law, just make yourself comfortable. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm. How about that? He's changing, he will soon join us. All right. What on earth were you thinking coming to this place with bruises? Hmm? Mom, what kind of question is that? What do you expect her to do? Cut off her face? Oh, just shut up. Shouldn't the question be, oh, my child, what happened to your face? Are you okay? Or have you asked that question enough? Each time she comes for dinner, her face is always this bad. Did I not say shut the head up? Fine. I will shut it. And what were you thinking? Just take a look at your face. Now you better use your makeup and cover these bruises up. Then we will deal with how the bruises came much later. What did you do? If you try that one more time, just... Rubbish. Do it right away! Don't keep your father and I waiting. It's all right. You'll be fine. I guess the foundation will just look over the thing, right? Donna, <sighs> you need to tell mom and dad that you're no longer interested. You know how hard that is? Hard? How hard? How hard is it for you to make a decision that will save your life? If anything goes wrong, they will blame me. Oh, please. If they like, they should put all the problem of this country on your head. We don't care. As long as you're safe and happy. Look at your face. God. I can't even remember the last time I saw you smile. So, so what do I do? Heave. Now. Tell dad that you're suffering. He knows. I come here all the time bruised. Countless times and he has never asked me what happened or why my face is like this. Maybe you are not loud enough. You need to stand your ground, Paula. You need to do it now. You need to save yourself. Let dad understand that you can no longer be in a loveless marriage. Is it until you die? Please, you're stronger than this. Paula, you can do this. You're stronger than this. You are. Say I'm strong. I'm strong. You're strong. I'm strong. Fine then. Let's fight. Yes. <laughs> you know, your father's approach to business has changed drastically recently. That's right. You're his friend, so you know why. 
it was because there's been a paradigm shift in doing business in this country. So for you to play the game properly, you must make adjustments. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Collins, I hope the food is delicious enough for you. Yes, absolutely nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Going for that. Your father and I had a deep and far-reaching discussions concerning his agricultural business, even before it started. Oh. <laughs> it would be better for us to enjoy our meal, then we'll discuss business much later. <laughs> You're absolutely right, my darling. <laughs> It's just that I'm always, I become talkative <laughs> with happiness when I, whenever I see my daughter and her husband. Uh -huh. You know, they remind me of our early years. Oh. <laughs> Stop it, sweetheart. But truth be told, I was intoxicated with her love. You, 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 you were the most beautiful and gorgeous thing that ever happened at that time. I was ready to front her everywhere we went. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure... Collins is also doing the same with his wife, isn't it? Come yes, on. same way I take my wife everywhere I go. Oh. Yes, you can see how gorgeous <laughs> she's looking. Is she? Mm. I mean, of course, she was until you married her. Do you realize that she has foundation on? Kathleen. A lot of it to conceal the injury you inflicted on her. Kathleen, please eat. What? I'm only stating the obvious. Was this how good you were looking when you came here earlier on? Uncle Collins, why does your wife have a black eye? Kathleen. Oh. Catherine, keep quiet. Now do you realize your father is here? I'm not blind, no. All right, that's it. To your room. I'm not five, mom. Say whatever it is you want to say. Shut up! Hey, do not allow me to repeat myself, young lady. Now get out. She's so gorgeous. Me, me, me. You're always beating her. Hey, you're lucky. Mom! Mom! Leave me alone! My sweetheart. Mommy. How are you? Is that not obvious, Mom? Hey. <laughs> I want you to stop crying. <laughs> Please. Like I said earlier, hang in there. You know, it's not very easy at the beginning. Does he ever become easy? Of course. Why not? Remember that both of you are just getting to know each other. Mom, we have been married for nearly three years now, and yet we have no relationship. Why don't you build one? How? He doesn't even see me. And whatever thing I say he doesn't like, I get bruises. Then why don't you stop saying the things that he doesn't like? Then I should be mute then. Mm -mm. I'm not saying you should be mute. <laughs> All I'm saying is just for you to use wisdom. That's all. Oh. How, Mom? How? Paula. Hey. Mm. I need you to understand that you got married into a very wealthy home. That at least should make you excited <laughs> in the midst of all this. Please. I want you also to understand that a lot of girls out there can even kill to be in your position. Of course they can. They are just waiting for you to make 
a mistake. By leaving that house, you will see, they will rush in and occupy. But I say, God forbid to that. Hey, Paula, relax. Stop crying. You have done well for yourself and for your unborn children. <laughs> All of us in this family are going to benefit from this. <laughs> All right. Don't be angry. I need you to calm down, sweetheart. Like I said earlier, hang in there. Don't, don't mind your sister. You know she's a, she's a young girl. Forget about her outburst. She doesn't know what it takes to succeed in this life at all. Come here. Mommy's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> My playmates, a day will come when you will rush to me and say, Mama, thank you for telling me the truth. <laughs> Enough. Sure. Hundred percent. We're ready to go. When are you going to leave that house? I am not planning to leave. It does not help anyone. Mom is done brainwashing you, right? Because anytime she speaks to you, you sound this way. I have to go now. I'll call you. Paula, if anything happens to you, mom and dad will only mourn for some months and then move on. You will still be gone. You don't understand. What is there to understand? I had no choice. I begged you not to marry him. I pleaded with you. You don't love him and he clearly doesn't love you. Can't you see? I had no choice. You did. And you still do. Kathleen, I am pregnant. And I am not going anywhere. Oh my God. You are? Yes, I am. Does he know about this? Yes. And he still beats you with your pregnancy? He will stop. That bastard will never stop. Paula, listen to me. Look at me, please. This changes everything. This pregnancy changes everything. It's even more dangerous for you to be with him. Please, think about yourself or think about the child. Are you not worried about losing your child? You have to leave him. Stop, darling, stop! I am not stupid. I know my reality. I am just telling you to calm down that I am not leaving. Understand it. Just leave it that way. I have to leave now. <laughs> Paula. Paula.
want to talk to Rai again. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. She can't keep embarrassing us like this. You know that girl is very stubborn. Hmm. And you also have to find out what's happening between Paula and her husband. You know, I don't want to appear meddlesome, but you can ask questions as a mother. <laughs> questions? I don't need to ask questions. You and I know too well what is going on in their family. He beats her at every little provocation. Okay, but do you know what it is she does that provokes him? Well, she said everything she does or says. <laughs> Listen. Every situation in life has a solution. She needs to become more circumspect and um, she needs to apply wisdom in her relationship with her husband. You know that family is a very serious one. Mm. And our association with them is uh, bringing us closer and opening us up to areas that were hidden to not accessible to us. Well, I will keep talking to her. I will. But our major issue here is Kathleen. Believe me, we need to tell Ola to hasten up, you know, to move things faster. Mm. Well, I will talk to his father. I think you should talk to his mother, Chief Mrs. Uh, Balamasi. <laughs> I will. Well, let me see how that little girl will get married into that family, living with Chief Mrs. Balamasi and still behaves this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not possible. Not possible. <laughs> we really need to let them know that we are ready for the next level. Of course. Of course we are. And that will bring us to the table and enable us have the conversation we've been hoping to have with Chief Mrs. Baramuse. Yes. Mm. yes. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, Kathleen mm. <laughs> looks like you. Mm. I beg. I think Paula does. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm here. Of course, I can hear you. Ugh. I don't seem to have any choice here, do I? Okay, 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 fine, fine. Please, send the address. <sighs> okay. See you. Ugh. I don't go in a problem. You just call my mommy and start support. me to call your name? Like, I matter to you. Do I matter to you? Of course you do. And is that you talking or your mother? <laughs> you only say that. Because it's a truth. Listen, the fact our parents want us to make our life together doesn't make it a crime. <laughs> you know, I like the way you put it. Make our lives together. You're hilarious. Um, Caitlin, you know, we've been on this journey for over a year now, and I was thinking that we should take it to the next level. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I 
immediately. I want you to marry me. And I'm sure we'll make it perfect all together. Say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! Say yeah! So, why don't I like get you something too? Kathleen! Oh, my baby! Kathleen! So you just got engaged? Answer my question. Yes, mom. Ah, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remove this demon. <laughs> Sorry. My goodness. This is beautiful. It's super nice. I love it. I'm so happy for you. Mommy. Now why are you like this? You did not even tell me. If not for Chief Mrs. Baramuse, I wouldn't have known. You didn't even post it on any social media platform. Now what has come over you, young lady? Oh, please, Mom. Quit pretending like you didn't know. You knew all along that this was going to happen. How? Am I part of your relationship with Ola? Are you trying to accuse your mom? Mommy, now you're trying to be funny. <laughs> I just want you to be happy. You shouldn't be sad. Hmm? Do you even know the family you're about getting married into? They are very wealthy, extremely wealthy. Mm. Yeah, you can yawn if you like. All I'm telling you is that they are wealthy and I love the family. Mm. I heard that Ola is so happy. Of course. Why wouldn't he be? Exactly. Why would he not be happy? He's about getting married to a damsel. I am not his damsel. You are a damsel in Jesus' name, whether you like it or not. Oh my God. Mom. Mm -hmm. Now listen, sweetheart. You know your mom is from Imo State. Your dad is Yoruba. It was my father who brought your father and I together. And believe me, after our marriage, both families benefited so much. So that's exactly what your father and I want to do for you and your sister as well, so we can as well benefit from this. And what about what I want for myself? What do you want a life that we have not given to you? Now let me ask you, the university you attended, were you not the one that chose it? Of course you did, and we obliged. God. Of course! The thousands of dollars required from us were paid without hesitating. Have we ever asked you? what you do with your monthly allowance. No. Even the company you worked for, you chose yourself, and we also obliged. So, why make it look like we are the ones suggesting for you what you will do with your life? No. There are some places where your parents need to step in to make some decisions in order for us to benefit as well. Wow. Am I in the wrong house? Oh, no. Is this not the home I grew up in? Mommy, did you say I picked the university I went to? Exactly. And you said I picked the company I worked for? Exactly. Mommy! What? It was you who picked that school, remember? And dad picked that company because his friend owns it. I resigned because I wouldn't do whatever it is they wanted me to do. Mm -mm. This is the one time, the one time I'm begging you to allow me to make this decision. This one decision that will make me happy, but still, you want to step in and benefit from it. Must you benefit from everything? We have to benefit as well. Do you think being a parent is just giving birth to a child? Giving the child a good life no matter what it takes, then when the child grows up, then he or she can tell the parents go to hell. No, it doesn't work that way, sweetheart. And let me remind you, you are being ungrateful. It's not good, you need to change. That company, you left that company because you were too stubborn. 
Is that how you want to see it? Just be happy. If that is how you see it, then so be it. It's a beautiful ring. <laughs> on the wrong finger. Maybe it is on your wait. finger! Maybe really? you should wear it. Well, shut up! I have played with you enough, and that's it. You are getting married whether you like it or not. And don't love him. That's your business. You are getting married whether you like it or not. No, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Nonsense. That ring doesn't even belong with this finger. It should stay there where it belongs. Gather all the dust in the world and we'll not put it back. Sir, please. Please, this job is all I have. Please. Doris. You seem not to understand what I'm trying to say. Begging me is counterproductive. The company can no longer afford to keep you. I have gone out of my way to pay you off. But, but sir, you are advertising a vacancy. A vacancy you cannot fill in. You're not qualified for that position. Or <laughs> are you a business intelligence analyst? All you do is data imputation. Okay, sir. So just give me a few months. I promise you, I'll be able to do more than data imputation. Please. Doris, you seem not to understand what I'm trying to say. The company is in murky waters. The company is passing through a very turbulent phase. The economy is bad and it's affecting us badly. We're still we're just trying to keep the company afloat. We can't pay salaries. I downsized, not because I wanted to, but because I can't afford to pay my workers. Can't you see that? I'm striving. I'm trying to see if I can I keep this company afloat. Try and understand this, OK? But I think about it. There is nothing mm? to think about. There is a way I can be part of the team. Doris. To be honest, you can no longer be a part of the team. We can't afford to pay your salaries. Do you intend to work for free? Whatever you pay me, I can manage it. I can't afford to be jobless. I can't afford to lose this job, sir, please. I have five members of staff at the moment, including my very self, as against the 35 we had last year. Ask them. I can't even pay half of their salaries. Doris, my candid advice, the time you spend coming here to beg me should be channeled towards getting a job for yourself, okay? Make judicious use of your time. Stop coming here to beg. It's no use. You can leave my office. Sir, please. Doris, leave my office. he can't pay me and that I should stop coming here to beg him. Listen, look, Doris, there should be somewhere for you now. Me? Where? Where? Eh? Do you know what it took me to get this job in the first place? Only to get laid off after eight months. Hey, hey, look, stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Look, something can come up. How? Nick, when? When will it come up? How long am I supposed to stay in that hotel for? I, I was hoping on this month's salary to, to pay for my house rent, but she can't let be this hey, way. Hey, 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 ah, don't, don't cry now. Don't cry. Look, see, see, listen to me. Crying will not solve the problem. 
Just wait for me. Here, wait for me. So I'm coming. For the hotel. You told me it was Ikhi last time. So you can use Tuki and have dinner or something. Eh? Me. Thank you. Thank you from the 65k that you're being paid. It's written no worry. They follow me calls my money. <laughs> Come here. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. Thank you. So much. Worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how long are you going to be at the hotel? One week at most. I can't afford to stay more than that. And I don't use everybody who I know, beg my landlord. He doesn't even want to see me. And he's even threatening me with his dog. A dog? <laughs> I think you don't understand, though. It's, this, this, this is tough for me, this period. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. Go. Go. See, I'll come and see you, eh? I'll come and see you once I'm done from work, but for now I have to head back to work, okay? Thank mm -hmm. you very Don't much. Don't cry again, no. Don't cry again. Eh? Yeah. Thank you. I'll see you when I'm back from work, okay? Alright, bye. Good morning, ma. How are you, Agnes? I'm fine, ma. Kathleen? She's in her room now. All right. What is happening? Ah. What's that? Can you close it, please, and turn off the light? It's on. 11 a.m. What is going on? I just got engaged and I want to buy. Mom told me about the engagement and I don't know why you're talking about dying. Because that's how I feel. Don't feel bad. Allah seems like an okay guy. Are you serious right now? Is that what you're saying? Are you trying to convince me to marry someone I have zero feelings for? So why did you say yes? Because he ambushed me. He called that he wanted to see me. And when I got there, he got on his knees and bought out a ring and started asking me to marry him. When everybody was just shouting, say yes, say yes, what was I supposed to do? I had to just take the ring so I don't embarrass him. So what are you going to do? Well... It's one thing to be engaged, it's another thing to actually get married. So, how long do you intend staying engaged? I don't know. Until he, he finds himself another wife or <sighs> another woman. I don't care. Ugh. You know, mom and dad would not have you do this. <laughs> do I look like I care? At this point, I don't care about them. I don't care about what they want. I'm only worried about myself. Okay. So, can I see the ring? <laughs> Let me see the ring! <sighs> oh my goodness! Wow! That's so beautiful! Mm -hmm. Come on sis, this suits your fingers mm -hmm. so well. Mm -hmm. My finger is not interested. Put me back. So what if Ola is the kind of guy you can go into an agreement with? Pretend to be in a relationship and you can get your life with another person. Wasn't that the same thing you did with your husband and then he ran like a little puppy to tell on you to mom and dad? Hmm? Ola is not my husband. He's even worse. Mm-hmm. 
He likes the idea of being a rich kid. He only mingles with the elite just like him. He's the worst kind of elite I've ever seen in my whole life. Fine. Um, I need to go see mom. I think I'm staying back for dinner. Okay. Well, is your husband coming? No, he traveled. Oh, he did? Oh, yes. Wow. No wonder you don't have any fresh bruises. Stop. Stop what? Kathleen, stop. Stop what? What? Stop it. You will not go and beat him. Stop it. He's lucky that he's not married to me. Eh, swear to God by now, oh, I would have been with Kiri Kiri for murder. I swear I'll kill him. No, sir. You go and beat him. Why are you touching me? Hello, Ola. Good evening, Ma. Hello, Ola. Hello. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Please sit. All right. Thank you, Ma. So, how are you? I'm fine, Ma. Mm -hmm. Is your wife aware that you're okay? Yes, I sent for her. She will be on her way very soon. Oh, that's nice. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> I saw that ring. Believe me, you are indeed a classy man. Very beautiful ring. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Mom, Auntie Kathleen asked me to get out of her room, that she's not in the mood to see anybody. What? I should tell Uncle to come back some other time. I beg your pardon. Paula. Mommy. Go and call your sister right away. Okay, Mom. I'm sorry. No problem, Ma. Very sorry, please. <laughs> Do you care for anything? No, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Go away. Kathleen. Go away. Open this door, Kathleen. going on. You were right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have said no to Allah the day he proposed instead of taking his ring. Well, you didn't. So you have to face him and... And what? Why are they forcing us to be with the people we don't want to be with? Kathleen. Are you in love with anybody? No. Besides, I don't have to be in love with someone to say no to Allah. You can't lock yourself in here. If that's all it takes, then I will. There is no way you'll be in this house with mom and dad if you don't marry Oda. Fine. Then I will leave. To where? Anywhere. I lived abroad myself and I did not die. Who paid for that? Stay. You left the company they got for you. If not by now, you'd have had the whole money to get the place for yourself. And you think they wouldn't fire me if I refused to do what they wanted me to do? Oh, please. I just want to get a job by myself. And you know you can't survive on the allowance. They have never lavished on us. So how do you then want to survive if you leave this house? So... Does this mean I'm stuck like you are? I guess so. But Paula, you're not even stuck. You can leave now and we can fight them together. Sis, I don't have the kind of gods you have. I can't keep enduring with whatever thing it is. I can't struggle with this pregnancy. Maybe you should just marry Orlando and divorce him whenever you want to. 
Is that what you're doing? I'm on it. Paula, Collins will kill you if he finds out that you're planning to leave him he under won't. his roof. He won't. He won't find out. Just leave quietly already. Paula? Wait, mom is calling me. Get ready and come out for dinner before dad gets involved. Believe me, I just like the way you, you, you decided to do it your own way. Yes, it's absolutely true. Because I'm wondering what... I wonder if it will take you eternity to start the school, eh? Mm -hmm. Paula? Where is your sister? Mom, she's coming. But oh. how many times have I told her to always be at the table whenever food is set at the table? When is she going to come? When we finish eating? I wonder. Let me get her. All right. <laughs> Agnes, Agnes, spoon. OK. She has brought the food. She has it. She just got one. It's supposed to be two. Agnes! Agnes! Yes, ma'am. Get the other spoon, please. Thank you very much. So, she said she's not hungry. What? She actually opened her door to tell you that and you couldn't even drag that little girl to this place. She didn't open her door. She talked through the door. Uh, my dear, sit down, serve the food, let's eat. Okay, Daddy. Oh, what is wrong with this girl? Look, we have to hasten your daughter's marriage. My daughter, she's our daughter. I agree with you. Can you need to open? No, no, it's okay. Just try. Right. Right. Okay. Of course, Chief Misses. I agree with you. I totally understand what you're talking about. Yes, both of us are on the same page. These children will not understand how much we parents love them. All right. I'm going to bring you a good news this week, believe me. Yes, my husband will do everything within his power to make this a reality. It's all right. No, it's okay by me. Thank you very much. All right, good night. <laughs> what did she say? That we should be able to direct our children on the best path to go. In fact, the bottom line is she wants to fund an engagement party for our daughter and Bola. That's it. That the first one they had was too quiet oh. for her. And I know Chief Mrs. Badamasi as someone who pulls all the stops when it comes to making statements with parties. Exactly. Which means names that matter will be there. So it's time to get her ready. How? I'm asking. <laughs> As if you don't know your daughter. I'm even wondering how it was possible for Allah to put the engagement ring on her finger. You and I know too well that your daughter is not even willing to marry Allah. 
<laughs> you know that. Which was why I instructed Ola not to bring in cameras or people, you know, for him not to make it elaborate, just for our daughter to take the selfies herself and to post on social media. But believe me, she never did. Up to now, she has not. Up until now. You know, all the girls in her shoes would have taken a deluge of selfies to post on social media. You know, just to show off their engagement ring and their party. But not our daughter. All right. Then I think time has come to let our daughter know her options. That's all. Mm. Paula, where is she? What is going on? Please sit, Paula. Okay. Okay. Your father wants you to be a witness to this moment. Yes. Because I want us to have a candid sincere discussion with uh, Kathleen here. You see, you children do not know how far we, your parents, are ready to go to give you the type of life we, we think is right for you. Kathleen? Yes, Daddy. Ola Derek Balamosi is ready to take things to the next level with you. Well, fortuitously, his family have noticed your disinterest and they have asked us to take a decision and get back to them. Well, we, your family, we have taken a decision. And our decision is that we will not forgive ourselves if we let you miss something so good. So within the next one week, we are announcing your engagement to Allah. But of course, you have the privilege to decide what you want your engagement party to look like, you know, the details. Because both family would want both of you to be intimately involved. So you have the privilege to decide you want this or want that so that that could form a proper representation from you. Of course. Mm -hmm. You remembered your sister's day. Mm? Mm -hmm. She was deeply involved as well. Mm -hmm. She chose her as she be, the colors and everything. So that's exactly what I want you to do. Better still, that's exactly what we want you to do. <laughs> Kathleen, do you understand what we're saying? No, no sir. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by no sir, no I don't? That's because I am not going to marry Mr. Ola. I beg your pardon. <sighs> but you have his ring on your finger. Is it? Where? Paula, can you see any ring on my finger? Because I clearly can't see. Maybe I have issues with my sight. I don't have his ring on my finger, Mom. That's because it's in the drawer gathering dust. Can huh? you imagine? You think this is a joke? No, Daddy. The fact that you both are planning my wedding, the one thing that should be my decision is what I actually find laughable. Listen, young lady. That gentleman loves you, and you're getting married to him. I do not love that young man, and I will not marry him. In that case, you get out of my house. So be it. Eh? What do you mean by that? No! Kathleen! Can you imagine? 
you're challenging dad as if he's your boyfriend or your classmate. Why? Why would you talk to him like that? How would you have me talk to him? How about being a little diplomatic about it? You could tell them that you, you want to think about it or, or, or anything else. To what end? Will I not still face them to tell them my mind? So, are you leaving? Yes. Kat, please. They will stop your monthly allowance. That's true. Now I regret why I, I haven't been saving. I have zero savings right now. Oh, because you, you always get whatever thing you want so easy. So how much do you have there? Close to 350k. You can't survive on 350k. You can't. And my husband is in charge of my account. I can't even transfer to you because he would know. <sighs> okay, I, I think I know what to do. I'm going to sneak out some cash for you because he keeps cash at home. No, 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 no. Steal from him? Another excuse to pounce on you? No, not at all. I won't put you in that position. Don't worry. My allowance is due in a few days. I'll just stay back and take that one. So what if they halted because of your decision? Then I'll stay a little longer, at least a week. I need that allowance so I can add to what I have and get a small place to manage. But... You're so strong. Your mind is so made up. I can't even convince you at this point. I'll be fine. I'm going to tell dad and mom that you will take a little time to think about it. So you can wait for the monthly allowance before you leave. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, my husband will be coming back this evening and I'll be leaving very early tomorrow. So um, you have to tell me before you leave so I can come and see you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> sure. Yes. I'm so worried. What is giving you? Dad, you sent for me. Yes. I was told you said you need um, about a week to think over your marriage issue. Yes, sir. Well. We all know how long you have had to think about it, so you don't really need a week. I want your answer now. Kathleen, I'm waiting. I don't love him, Dad. Great. So, who do you love? Nobody yet. Kathleen, I want you out of my house before breakfast tomorrow morning. You know why I'm giving you till breakfast? I'm hoping that you would have had enough time to overcome your foolishness. But if by tomorrow morning you still haven't seen the blessing in front of you, then I want you out of my house. Dad, you really want me to leave? Leaving or staying depends entirely on you. But I want to make another point clear. Once you step out of this house, I discontinue your allowance. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me? However you want to leave is entirely your choice. Now, can you stay without your allowance? Can you? It's okay. No problem. Baby, but that was, that was 
was too much. Was... You shouldn't have said all that to her. Her stubbornness is irritating. Okay, so hold on. I don't understand. Where are you? I am parking out right now. Kathleen! What did you say to them? I didn't say anything. Dad said that they can no longer wait for me to think about it. That they've given me enough time already. Jesus Christ! Okay, so where are you going to? Where are you going to now? But I don't know yet. But I was just checking into a very cheap hotel then plan my life from there. I'm going to switch off this phone from time to time, okay? Why do you want to switch off your phone? Don't you know I'm going to call you? Because I'm getting a new phone. Something small and a new SIM too. I'll call you with that line as soon as I get it. Why do you want to get a new phone and a new SIM, eh? Because I don't want to go online. I, if I run out of money, I wouldn't want to ask anyone for money. I want to just sell this phone, use a part of it and buy a smaller phone. Cut me. Please, don't go anywhere, please. I'm having bad feelings, please, now. This is why I don't need you or anyone calling me. I'll call you as soon as I can, okay? I have to go. I love you so much. And please, run if that idiot wants to touch you again, okay? Bye. Jesus. Now, how else could we have handled this? Honestly, I don't see any other way. I don't. Well, hmm. all I know is that she will return tonight or tomorrow morning at most. And when she does, Please, I beg of you, sit her down. Extract the promise of a date from her. Then get her to start wearing her ring and visiting Allah. Very important. Hmm. It's okay. Can I drop you? No, thank you. Okay. Dad, how could you two let her pack her things out of this house? Relax, Paula. Your sister will return. Why are you so sure, Mom? That's because I didn't give birth to an idiot. <laughs> Mom, Kathleen is not coming back. And she's broke. Oh, she's broke. That's a good news. At least it will make her return quicker. And we are not ready to send any money till she behaves. Mom! Daddy! Daddy, please! Daddy, please, no! What do you want me to do? Everything is in her hands. Daddy, please, no! Oh, Paula, stop crying. <laughs>
Madeline didn't come back. Give her a few days to exhaust the bunny she has, or she'll come back. Paula said she's broke. Then, she's obviously not very broke. I just hope she's okay, that's all. Look, woman, calm down. Relax. Well, if you want her to come home and do whatever she wants, then bring her home. She needs to marry Ola. Ah, in that case, then. Allow her to exhaust all the money that's with her. Then she'll come home. And when she does, she will have no option than to obey us. Back then, green bottle standing on the wall. I hate it when you sing that song. Boy, if you want better money than you are earning, or you have very little money without the possibility of earning in the foreseeable future, and you want to see how to stretch what is available to you, whoever you are and whatever your reality is, I need you to pick a... Hello, sir. I have been calling your line. Oh, yes. Someone gave me your number. I'm in search of your house. I was told that you're an agent. Oh, I was told that you can get me what I want. Oh, perfect. Can I check it out? Of course I can come. Just send me the address. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye. Calm down, they calm down. You can see one mango tree on your left hand side, yes. Uh, you can see me there now. Uh, they come. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Mr. Ladi? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, the house looks too far from here. I'm going to show you. Wait. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that the house is in this neighborhood? Uh, Madam, only this neighborhood you will get self contained for 250000 uh, uh, And My partner is a wait. Ma, just go show you the no, house. No, no, no. This won't work. I can't take this. I need something better. Uh, and no, this is something better, no day. It day, but you know, the money we we give to the fire house. Something better now, you go keep it like, like 500,000 naira, you go up. And all this small, small estate, it day. Can we go there? We might see somewhere that is cheaper than 500k. No, no, no. I, I, I don't get that place now, but I go find them for you. <laughs> and even if I see anyone at all, that from 500, they go up. Huh? Your house, no, no, be, no I'm sorry, no, no, no. I, I can't stay here. This is a trenches. This doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. Please, can you get something a little bit fair? Uh, I'll go find them, yeah? Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I'll keep in touch, okay? No problem. Uh, bye. Uh, but before, see, get on now, wait, wait, day. Mm. Where you go, like, there are no two people did the compound, 2F. Syria still. And I just, you know, too far from like the other one. I just, no, no, no. I, I can't stay here. Please, just do better. I'll keep in touch. Right. Bye. Okay, I'll, I'll go fine. I'll, I'll go call you, yeah? All right. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. 
I did come. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Are you surprised? Mm, not surprised, just curious. So what's up? Cheers. Take your glass. Cheers to what? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remembered. Of course. I'll be calling you at your face. Have you forgotten? Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers to more life. Of course. Mm. Uh, anyways, I ordered other stuff, so they'll be here soon. Nick, you're such a sweet guy. Thank you very much. Aww. This hey. means a lot. <laughs> really. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, please, drink. Of course. It's, it's your my day. birthday. I know, right? <laughs> I do. Do I just go back home? No, 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 no. I can't. If I have to sell everything I own, I will. I will sell my valuables, I will sell my hairs, I will sell my clothes, my bags. I just need to do something. I have to find a way. I must find a way. Lost and abandoned. I had to make it all on my own The love was conditional Guess I was better off all alone But then you came in and it felt I was coming home I don't have to wonder I'm sure I'm right where I belong So close your eyes, let me in Feel it's time to let forever begin Cause when you hold my hand, all my fears are spent I feel I can't pretend I'm not surviving already Cause when you hold me close, I feel it in my soul To me you mean the most, don't you let me go They took me for granted, never respected I could be strong, I can be strong They took off the blanket, and then they left me out in the cold Hold on Collins, I don't get what you're saying how, how do you mean? She fell and lost the baby. How, I don't... Now, Collins, just hold on. Did you push her down? I mean, did you two have a fight? <laughs> it's all right. I'm coming. What is it? Paula had a miscarriage. How? How? How will I know? The same thing I asked Collins, but I'm suspecting something here. I'm sure Collins is responsible for it. No, 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 darling. You don't start accusing the young man until we're absolutely sure. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Accusing? Sweetheart, what do you mean by that? As if you don't know that Collins beats this girl like what I don't... This whole thing is beginning to annoy me. What is all this? The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait. Mom, why are you not involving the police? Why should I? What's my reason? She has been gone for weeks now, Mom. And what do you want me to do? I'm asking you. What do you want me to do? I have been calling her line. And it's not connecting. I have sent some people to go look for her. And she's nowhere to be found. What do you want me to do? She has not even posted anything online. Because I've been monitoring her page. What do you want me to do? Why should you allow Dad to send her out of this house? You should have been a better influence on your sister. And she is your daughter, Mom. Hey! Do not get me angry, young lady. What is all this? You think it's easy for me? I am here. I do not know the whereabouts of my daughter. You think it's easy? I have tried my best. What we wanted her to do was just for her to calm down and enjoy the beautiful life God has given to her thus far. God? Or you and Dad? Like the beautiful life you both gave me? The time to make me lose my child! Hey. It's okay, Baba. Hey, it's alright. Now clean your eyes. You are going to have kids. I'm going to carry your children, I promise. All right? Your husband assured me that he would no longer raise his hands on you again. It's okay. It's all right. If anything happens to her, I will never, ever forgive you and Dad. All right, can you wipe your tears? Hello, Mr. Laji. Oh. Wow, really? That's good, though. But the problem is affording the place. But, madam, I don't try now. And see, you know, see, for the past how many weeks now, I don't think Waka the fine house for you. You understand? I know they be a better person. I make, and I know what you want. I think you see me say, I can try to find a better place for you. I mean, I don't try now. Eh? Big. Three bedrooms, just, that's just too much for me. Uh, then, madam, find who you could share with. That's what you do. I'm fine people. When I did three, share the house. When I, when I could contribute the money to be, to be together. Uh, when will I start to look for someone to share with, let alone two people? Um, see, eh? see what you will do. Eh? I feel help you find one person. Eh? But the third person will be a problem. Like, is it not possible that he takes my own part of the money? Then you can look for two people to join. Ah, <laughs> madam, you found you. All this landlord, then. That you landlord, you collect half. No, 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 no. You no, 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 collect all. No. Then see what you could do, eh? See, eh? If you go pay the money, eh? Then when other people come, they go balance you the money back. Hey, just try. Mr. Ladi, Villa say you don't understand what they tell you. I don't have any more money. I don't sell everything where I get. All my valuables, some of my hairs, my bags, my shoes. <laughs> Still, I can't make up to 750,000 Naira. Please, help me and find two people fast before I spend the one I saved. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll help you, yeah? I'll help you find person, yeah? But you too, you help me too. Make you define, maybe I define. You understand, yeah? Thank you so much. Please keep me updated. Thank you. Please be fast about it. Please, there's no time. Bye-bye.
Hi. Hi. Um, sorry, I, I didn't mean to drop into your conversation, but you were talking about needing a place to stay. Yes. Okay. Um, my friend and I need a place to stay. Oh, really? Yes. Um, how much is the person talking about? Oh, like a total of 250 per person. Okay. All rooms and suits? All rooms and suits. Flats, actually. Oh. I, I, can you kindly call him back? I could call my friend. It's as if you don't have a problem still with anybody. Oh, sure. I, I don't mind. I can put a call across. Okay, me. okay. I will just call her. You can call her and... Please tell him that. We'll come check it out. Tell him we'll oh, make payments. Yes, really? please. Yes. Ah, Let me okay. call him. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, okay. Mr. Ladi, I beg, have you come check the place later today after work? Oh wow. Wait, it's make I online. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is this you like so them? nice. Sneak, yes. So beautiful. It is. Wait, wait with with the furniture. But I mean, you see this house, eh? Now all these big big men we we, we <laughs> rent this house, furniture for you to the way that abroad. The stupid boy they say they don't come to Nigeria. <laughs> you do that, brother. You're come back. Come do that, Jira. Really. <laughs> this is lovely, and it's not even as far as I thought from the office. Uh, no, exactly. I was about to even saying that. Kitchen, everything, gas cooker. What about the rooms? Please, can we come see the rooms? Come, I will show you now. Look, like I shop for Nana. <laughs> Correct. We'll start for this one. Can you see everything they want? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Oh, I'm a hitter. Interesting. See the second room. Oh, okay, come. Okay, it's so fine. <laughs> I think I'll take this from <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. So this is my room. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Everybody's just picking. I'm sure the next one. No, I think that. I, I ah, think hello. Ah. I'm still trying to do oh, it. Okay, no. this is mine. No, that. Ah. This is it. <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> Everything they walk. What are you doing? Everything they see. I love this. Oh, this is nice. The rooms are all in suits. I can't even believe. I can't believe that this is going for that. I'm room. telling you. Mm -hmm. The man does the man does dash in the house. <laughs> if one is that the man has it, the one point one million. He does dash in the house. That's so fine. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 oh, what's that agreement here? Yeah? So close your eyes, let me in. Feel it's time to let forever begin. Cause when you hold my hand. All my fears are spent. I feel I can't pretend I'm not surviving already. Cause when you hold me close, I feel it in my soul. To me, you mean the most. Don't you let me go. They took me for granted. Never respected. I could be strong. I can't be strong. They took off the blanket. And then they left me out in the cold Somehow in the darkness I was handed a chance to right my wrongs oh, I don't need to wonder I'm sure I'm right where I belong
You're coming. Hi. Hey. What's up? Uh, I'm good. Uh, what are you up to? Uh, just doing some little of his work. Mm, okay. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually fine. <laughs> I can't believe I have a place to call my home for the next one year. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> You've been amazing. You've been really good to me in, in ways that I can't even imagine. You help pay my hotel bills and also help with the completion of this rent. Why? Uh, you deserve it. You know, I felt heartbroken when I found out you were laid off. You know, coupled with the fact you had to move from admin to data analyst, you know, just to keep up and show that you're relevant. Well, still it didn't work. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your beautiful, nice gestures towards me. I really appreciate it. There was no way I was going to survive this, this period without you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. This way. So, um, why are you now doing all these things for me? I, I thought you liked me. Yeah, I do, but not in this particular way. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. Uh, it, it's nothing. It's nothing, really? trust me. Yeah, it's nothing. So far, I don't make anything out of it. Okay, no awkwardness. Yeah, sure. No awkwardness. Yeah. So we're back to being <laughs> friends. Of course. For real? No, for real. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I should get going. Yeah. And leave you to your work. Work. Yes, work. <laughs> um, good night. Good night. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Is 
is, is that what you're having for dinner? Yes. Okay, can I at least offer you dinner? I know we don't talk that much. Really? Yeah. That's if, if, if you're okay with it. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Because I was actually making this for three. I can't finish all of this by myself. And um, I was thinking that if we plan our meals, it would actually be cheaper for everybody. What do you think? Mm. And that will also, you know, help us get to know each other better. <sighs> That's fine. Not a problem. I don't mind. Okay. And I can make the meals since I don't have a job yet. <sighs> That's very thoughtful. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> When you get done with this. Okay. Hey, ladies. Hey, hey handsome. <sighs> Please, can I get a plate of this? Uh, am I qualified? Of course, as soon as I'm done. Ah, uh, thank God. Hey. I, I hope you had a good day. Long day. Long day. Uh, okay, I'll just quickly change and help out. Okay. Don't worry, just go and relax. Change uh, and relax. I'll be done in no time. This is just going to be here. You're an angel. <laughs> oh, come. Who is that? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Since it's taking you people forever to come out, what do you expect? Ah, uh, look. Well, um, I had to quickly go take my shower. The traffic was crazy. Like, really, really crazy. Ah, uh, that's true. Traffic was hectic. I was just telling her that right now. <laughs> Sorry, it took a while. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm full, so I'll just go drop this and clean up the mess I made. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is really good. So, have you done this before? Like, lived in a shared apartment? No. And I also have not eaten any meal prepared by someone I just met. <laughs> Leave Doris to that. Look, Doris will practically make you eat her meal the first day she's seen you. Yes. <laughs> the first day at her office, she gave me her lunch. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, she's easy with people and she knows how to make friends. And that's why I like her. I see that you two are quite close. Mm. We used to work together. Yeah, she mentioned the day we moved in here. She was among the people that I was laid off, right? Mm -hmm. Sad. I actually bumped into her a few times at the hotel, but we never really got to talk. Well, you know, you always keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, also 
always cautious. Keeping your distance at the office too. I don't want anybody to embarrass me. <laughs> yes, no. Fuck my meeting one lady and she'll just show me. <laughs> nah. But yeah, one or two times I've always wanted to just invite you for lunch. But I just didn't know if you agree. Why not? Okay. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow again. I would say hi. Sure. That's fine. This is actually really good. Of course it is. It is a good cook. <laughs> Isn't this place going to cost half your salary? Well, it's important I impress you. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Seriously, this place is going to cost you. Okay. Why don't you do this once a month and book out your mini month? <laughs> You're already planning months ahead. Wow. You're my flatmate. <laughs> and I don't want to spend your hard earned money. So, yeah, you can do it once in a month. And it's okay for you to spend your own hard earned money? <laughs> anyway, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Lost and abandoned, I had to make it all on my own. The love was conditional. Hey. Just the people I was waiting for. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> what are we celebrating? Relax. Uh, Relax. Okay. Is it your birthday? Uh, Maybe. It's not today. <laughs> I know her birthday. Okay, so. Uh, okay. You've not told us what's going Relax. on. Relax. Uh, easy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hmm. This has to be good news. Right? Yeah. Here. Here. <laughs> Why are we drinking? Hold on. Are you spilled oh. already? Red wine. Hey, <laughs> <Like> rich kid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Is somebody that you want? Even better. Hold on. Wow. Ah, oh. already. Okay. Red wine. Here. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Oh my God! <laughs> so, <coughs> cheers! Yes! Mm -hmm. Also, more money, money. Yeah. and good job. I know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. At least I will see food to eat. <laughs> I know. I know this is cheap, but don't worry. I'll do better by the end of the month when I, of course, mm -hmm. get my salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Can I have the bottle? Can I have the bottle? Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait,
Hey, how you doing with work, dude? I'm almost done. What's up? I need your help with something. Okay. So, uh, there's this client I'm working with, and I'm not big on business intelligence, and that is what he needs right now. Okay. He's currently in panic because his competitors have reduced their price of their new product line and they're gaining more shares in the market. Okay, so why can't your client reduce their own price? No. Why? Their cost of production is really high. Hmm, I see. And your clients don't exactly own the manufacturing value chain? No, they don't. I see. Well, um, the first thing you would do is find out how valuable the market segment your competitors are going into and what you to take to make it successful. Then you also need to know if the market segment is the type that can fuel your competitors' growth or you know, reduce their resources. Hmm. Okay. So if it's a draft that could reduce their resources, my client should be jumpy for joy. Kind of. <laughs> your clients need to position themselves in a way that they can take advantage of the misfortune. Hmm. Is, do you have any data on this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have. I will just forward okay. some of them to you. All right, that's fine. Okay. Hey, you're really good at this. I try. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll just put them to you right now. Miss Kathleen. Sir. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. I must admit that your coming here was predestined by God. What have I done now, sir? <laughs> the business proposal you submitted to our clients three weeks ago has been approved. I must tell you, I've been pursuing that deal for the past 13 months, and now you've made it happen. Wow, really? I'm highly delighted. Ah, that's good. Thanks, sir. You see, oftentimes I sit to wonder why you chose to work with me, in spite of the kind of education you acquired in the UK. <laughs> you told me you needed something doing, you know? Yes, sir. But now I know that God actually brought you to see me through. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this company has been like a ghost town. But now I can acquire new staff. Courtesy <laughs> of sir. your brilliance. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Congratulations to all of us. <laughs> we are in this together. Yes. Thank you. And Nick. Sir. I want to thank you for your sacrifice. In spite of the ups and downs, you stuck with me. You're welcome, sir. With your background, and the kind of education you acquired in the U.S., you decided to work in my humble company just to help me. I appreciate. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. It calls for celebration. Yes. Kathleen. Sir. I am back. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. So, USC, huh? <laughs> And you, UK? <laughs> really? Oh, please. <laughs> I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. You know why? Why? Because you are back. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Paula. Mom, please leave me alone. Why? Why should I? He has knelt before you and begged you. What else do you want him to do? How many times has he knelt down to beg me? He even cried when I lost my baby. But has he stopped? No. I want you to know something here. Your father is uncomfortable seeing you here. Do you know why? He feels you don't trust him. How, Mom? All right. Your father called your husband's family and spoke with them at length. They promised him one thing. Their son will not lay his hands on you again. And your father also told them that you are returning today. So please, you have to go back. So you believed him? Of course, sweetheart. Oh. Okay. Cut. 
was right. No, no, she's wrong. Mm -mm. Kathleen is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's all right. No. It's uh, all right. Me, me, me. Me, no. <laughs> What are you missing? <laughs> tea. I was just trying to fix myself a cup of tea. I see. <sighs> I really like you. I really, really like you. <laughs> and I really, really like you too. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. So you guys still have not been noticing what's been going on these past few weeks. <laughs> anyway, Nick, I'm I'm so sorry I tried to kiss you. Why would you say that? Because if that didn't happen, maybe you would have been comfortable enough to tell me that you had fallen for Kathleen. That is the kind of relationship we have. But I'm guessing you didn't tell me because you thought I would be angry. I wasn't even thinking about it at all. So it really happened? Ah, yes. In this house? Yes. Wow. The thing is, Nick has been really nice to me. He has helped me with a lot of things. And I thought he was doing that because he liked me. So, when we moved in, I, I went to his room. Look. I already said it means nothing. Now, why are we discussing it? To make sure that it's actually nothing. So, as I was saying, Kathleen, I went to his room and I tried to kiss him. But, but it didn't happen. He stopped me. I was so embarrassed. But the next morning, I realized that Nick is who he is and that he's not that kind of guy. And I'm grateful to have such an amazing person as a friend. End of story. So why the whole story? So that you both can enjoy what you have without having to, you know, <laughs> sneak around the house because it's really obvious. <laughs> okay. So you can go ahead and kiss because I know that was what you were about doing, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself, okay? <laughs> Take this sladdy. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ladi. Oh, really? Okay, that's great. I'll come and check it out. Thank you. Uh, I need you to follow me somewhere. Where? Just come. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh... Oh. This is neat. I think I opened it. Oh, wow, it's like it's a new house. Ah, uh, no, no, just like that. Okay. Go like that. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, and it's furnished already. Everything. This is. TV, everything. This you is, like that? This is beautiful. I love it. I beg. I think it's a bit busy. Look, I don't go the rest of the you. Okay. Finish. Just call me. Just All right. Look around then. I will, I will check everywhere. Ross, bye-bye. This is lovely. Nice. 
Who are you? Why are you, why are you getting me on the house? Mm, for my sister. Ah, this for your sister? I thought you said your sister was married. Yes, to an abuser. And she's scared of living alone because she feels she won't be able to survive it. So I need to get in and help. And how well, could you afford this place? Well, I've been saving everything. You've been saving just to get your sister out? Yes, I promised myself that once I'm able to survive, I will go and get her. Survive? What do you mean by survive? Okay, moment of truth. Well, my dad kicked me out. What? Yes. I refused to marry the man they wanted me to marry, so they kicked me out and seized my allowance. Um, I'm so sorry about that. Are you like a rich girl? <laughs> yes. How rich? Very rich. <laughs> okay. So you're suffering out of choice? Um, I will not particularly call it suffering. Let's just say, finally, I'm able to live on my own terms. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this funny to you? Is there a boy to choke you something? <laughs> you know, um, I didn't actually want to be with a rich girl. Okay, what does that mean? I, wait, wait, wait. I have something to show you. You might take us an hour, but come. All right. Yeah. Okay. But well, what do you think about this please, though? It's, it's, it's fine. But so it's really cool. Thank you. Lost and abandoned. I had to make it uh, all on my own. Yeah, yes. Their love was conditional. Guess I was better off all alone. <sighs> this is my father's house. <laughs> Are you serious? This mansion? Yes, this is the Moeta Mansion. Wow. So, why are you now sharing a flat with two women? It's a long story. I'll cut it short. Um, I left my father's house because my parents were forcing me to get married to who I didn't want to get married to. Yeah. You know how rich families can be wanting to pose your kids to get married to someone else, you know? And and I was not having it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It got to the point I even disowned my own father. <laughs> and yes, I left with nothing. Wow. What a cliche. How come we have similar stories? <laughs> I don't know. I should be asking you the same thing. <laughs> uh, so you see the reason why I said I didn't want to be with a rich girl? Yeah, now I get the point. <laughs> so do you want to like go in? No, 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 no. Nah. Let's just go home, okay? Let's just go to the house so we can plan out to get your sister out. Great. It's okay. That's fine. I drive a place, yes. Let's go. Seriously? Oh, what on earth is going on here? This is my father's house. I know it's your father's house, young lady. Did you just throw this pillow down? Now what is wrong with you? Mom, 
I need a divorce. What? Now you listen to me, Paula. If you divorce Collins, your husband, you are on your own. There is no room for you in this house. Your husband's house is where you belong. So, Mommy, how do I explain to you that I am suffering for you to help me, Mom? Marriage is all about endurance, sweetheart. You need to endure. Believe me, you can't keep running back, running back each time. Oh, no. Please. Do you know how many times your father has offended me? But I refuse telling you girls. So keep quiet and stay in your husband's house. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, really? That must be Collins. Let me open for him. Collins, I know. You're the one. Good day, Mom. Good day, Mom. Kathleen! Of course I'm alive. Oh. It's hard out there, but survivable. I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> what what is it you did? Uh -huh. I mean, what gave you the audacity to do what you did? I'm asking you. You left. We've been looking for you. You were nowhere to be found. We've called your line and it's not connecting. What is it? That's because I blocked everyone. You blocked me too. I didn't want anyone saying anything to weaken my resolve. And yes, I did. I wanted to concentrate. Hmm. So, where's our boy? How is he? She lost it. What? Hmm. What happened? Hmm. Paula! Say something. <laughs> he, he beat my baby out of me. And mom and dad keep sending me back. He did what? That bastard! Have you seen what you've caused? Please. Calm down, Tigress. I saw him back. back. I will kill him myself. What's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> oh. Kathleen. Yes, sir. You're back home. No, sir. I'm not back home. I came to take Paula with me. Yes. Meaning? What? <laughs> Meaning that she never has to go through what she has been going through in the hands of Collins. Yes. I got us a very nice apartment, okay? We move in and we live together. Okay, Let's leave the house for them. Okay, sis. We are leaving your home for good this time. Mm. We don't have to stay here. Oh. So, you brought a bodyguard to help you? I'm telling you, he's not my bodyguard. He's my boyfriend. Oh! oh. So this is the man you think qualifies? Young man, what is your name? Uh, my name is Nick Mowata, sir. Which Mowata is that? Moeta Holdings. The billionaire Moeta? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You are Moeta's son? His first son, precisely. Oh! Ooh. Honey, get a chance to prepare a meal. We need to sit down and talk like family. Of course. Uh, um, um, sir, there's no need for that. We are trying to rush. We live outside of town. That's where you built your house. How is your father? Uh, I don't know. I disowned him. What's the meaning of that? Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Oh no, sweetheart. This is your father's house. Your rooms are upstairs. So you can go to your room and relax. Hmm? No need. Paula, are you really ready for this? Dad, it's disappointing that it was not you that gave me this. I wanted you to perfect me, but you and mom never did. I hope 
I'll find a heart to ever see you both again. Never again. Why? All we wanted was just the best for both of you, that's all. Finally! Hold a grip of yourself, let's go! Yes, on your home! We're going home! I don't want to push you. Just you push me! Yes, mom! Finally! Go. We are going! Did that just happen? My goodness. Ooh. That's Paula's bag. She left her bag. This bag will bring her back. and still beautiful. <laughs> you do realize that my head is expanding, right? <laughs> hey, come here. How does Kathleen Moore sound? Excuse me? Ever since I left before this house, I've kept this ring. I'm going to give it to the woman I would want to spend the rest of my life with. Caitlin Adepayo, I am madly in love with you. I don't know, I want to come back home seeing your face every day. I want, I just want to build my life with you. Please. Hey! Would you marry me? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! You said yes for me! Yes! Now, guess I was there. 
Marshall.